Hi, I'm Simon with AppliancePartsPros.com. Today we're going to show you how to repair your appliance. Are you ready? Remember, anytime you work on your appliance, make sure it's unplugged or the circuit breakers are off so there's no chance of electrocution. Also, you need to turn off the water to the refrigerator. In this video, we'll show you how to replace the freezer defrost heater in a Samsung refrigerator. It's going to be a very easy repair. Should only take a few minutes to show you how to do it. For the job, we're going to need a socket wrench with this 10 millimeter head, flat bed screwdriver, Phillips screwdriver, a pair of needle nose pliers, a pair of side cutters, three smaller and one larger zip ties. When you open up the package, you're going to get a new freezer defrost heater. This defrost heater is located inside the freezer compartment behind the rear cover, framing the evaporator coils at the bottom. During the defrost cycle, the heater, energized by the control board, melts the frost off of the evaporator coils, preventing them from freezing over. The failure of the defrost heater will cause the evaporator to freeze over. That, in turn, will cause a substantial temperature rise in the freezer compartment. If you are experiencing the symptoms, check the defrost heater and replace it if needed. To get to the part, we need to open both doors. Let's open the freezer door. Now we need to lift up on the drawer, so we'll release the roller, put it on the top here, and we can pull it out. Then we're going to lift up the drawer, and we can remove it. To remove this adjustable shelf, we're going to grab both of these end brackets and pull it up. Now I'm going to remove the freezer basket. I'm going to lift that the inner end first. I'm going to lift that and pull this basket out. To remove the freezer door, we need to take off these uh, two bolts on this side and uh, two bolts on this side. This is a 10 millimeter bolt, so I'm using a 10 millimeter socket wrench. Now we're going to unscrew it, turning it counterclockwise. And now we can lift the freezer door off the hinges. And now I'm going to push in the hinges, the rails. Now we're going to remove this uh, little shaft cap that uh, prevents the shaft from being uh, removed. I'm going to push it up and I'm going to pull it off. Again, now we're going to push this shaft to the right, and I'm going to free the left side from the gear, and now I'm going to pull it out completely and remove it. We need to remove this cover from the front. I'm going to pry it off with this flat blade screwdriver, and then I'm going to pull it down. So now we need to remove two Phillips screws that are uh, located in these openings. I'm going to use the uh, Phillips screwdriver. Okay. And now we're going to pull forward the ice maker. So we're going to release the, uh, the rear tabs. Now we're going to let it down, and we have a plug here on the top. So I'm going to press that uh, locking tab and disconnect the plug. And now we can remove the ice maker. Next we need to remove a couple of Phillips screws that are hidden in those two openings here on the sides. I'm going to use a long Phillips screwdriver. And we're going to remove one at a time. So now I'm going to grab this uh, coil cover and pull it out. So put the evaporator cover slowly down. And then we need to disconnect this plug here on the right. I'm going to press this tab on the left side and disconnect the plug. 
and now I'm going to remove the cover. Next, I'm going to remove this cover box. I'm going to squeeze the sides and pull it out. Next, we're going into the cutting stage. I'm going to use the side cutters and very carefully, you're going to cut these zip ties off. Now, we're going to remove this clip off the aluminum pipe and I'm going to open it so I can take off the wires. I'm going to use the flat blade screwdriver, going to put it inside here and open it. Next we need to unplug this uh, triple plug. I'm going to press uh, side locking tabs. and pull it out. We only need to replace the frost heater, so, so we need to remove this double brown plug, which is in the middle. So I need to take off those two brackets, the white one and the red one. Oh. I'm using a flat blade screwdriver and unlock it. Okay, let's uh, plug this uh, thermostat back on. All right, and now we can continue removing the defrost heater. Now we're going to remove this insulation. Turn it and pull out. Next, I'm going to bend open two tabs, one on each side. I'm going to use the flat blade screwdriver. Okay, same thing on the right. So, I'm not going to bend this one open. Now I'm going to bend tabs at the bottom that holds the defrost heater. I'm going to use the needle nose pliers and I'm going to bend this tab. This one and then this one. A little more. Okay. And this one. And the last one. And now we're going to pull out the old defrost heater. I'm going to use the pliers again. Pull it out. And I'll go to the opposite side. And we're going to remove the, the old defrost heater. All right, now I'd like to point at one detail right here. If you can see, this is a aluminum strip, which is a, like a, a condensation drain defrost heater. It transferred the heat from the defrost heater into this uh, opening at the bottom which is a condensation drain. We can either take out this uh, rivet and reuse it on the new heater, or we can order a new part, which is AP4334154. And it's widely available on our site. So we're going to show you how to take off the old one and reuse it. All right, let's place it on the table and we're going to use the side cutters to get rid of this uh, rivet. And we can reuse it. 
This is the old freezer defrost heater next to the new one. If you don't have this part, you can get it from appliancepartspros.com. This is a new freezer defrost heater, and we're going to install that uh, drain strip here. That's an old one. As I told you, you can get a new one, but if you decide to reuse the old one, that's what we're going to do. I'm going to use the pliers, a needle nose pliers, or regular pliers. We're going to straighten up old one. So we're going to place that strip over here at the bend, and then we're going to bend that strip tight. And I'm going to use pliers, and we're going to bend it more. I'm going to use that large screw. I'm going to place it in and tighten it. If you do have a rivet gun, you can use the rivet gun and rivets, but it, it has to be a larger size than it was before. So I just took that the large screw and put it in, and it's much easier. Now I'm going to install it into the freezer. All right, so I'm going to start uh, placing a new defrost heater from the left side, and I'm going to move. I'm going to bend this a little bit in and move to the right and install the right side. Push it up. Now I'm going to bend all these tabs at the bottom. First we're going to put it in under I'm going to hold this at the bottom and use the needle nose pliers. I'm going to bend this back so we're going to lock the defrost heater in the position. And then we're going to do this left one. And we can continue on the right. And now uh, this tab on the left, I'm going to bend it. I'm going to use the flatbed screwdriver. And move to the right. I'm going to use the uh, flatbed screwdriver. I'm going to push it out. And I'm going to bend it. All right, now I'm going to plug in all those three plugs. And we're going to start with the yellow one that goes at the bottom. Then our defrost here goes in the middle. And the thermostat goes on the top. As you can see, I'm plugging them in individually. We don't need to put the brackets back on. Now we're going to install the retainer. I'm going to put those two harnesses and lock it. And then I'm going to install it on this aluminum tube. And now we're going to put a bunch of zip ties. So we're going to install the zip tie here over that uh, silver cylinder. All right, so we're going to install another one right here. Okay, and I'm going to install one right in here. And uh, 
the last one I'm gonna place it right in here. So I'm not going to use the side cutters and I'm going to cut all the extras on the zip ties. Now I'm going to place them on the cover box, squeeze the sides and push it in. All right, now I'm going to place that insulation spacer here. I'm gonna Turn it this way, flat side, and then I'm gonna turn it. This way. Before installing the cover on, make sure that that little uh, condensation drain heater is positioned inside the opening. Okay, now I'm gonna bring in the evaporator cover and install it. And now I'm gonna plug in this uh, evap motor plug. And now I'm going to install the, the cover. I'm going to lift it up, push it up against the ceiling, and then I'm going to press in the sides. And the bottom. All right, it's in place. Now I'm going to secure the evaporator coil cover with a couple of Phillips screws. Now I'm going to install the ice maker. I'm going to free this harness from this uh, retainer temporarily. Then we need to plug in this into this plug here. Then we'll need to install the ice maker with the two gray pins over there at the back, sliding into these two channels. And at the same time, we need to install this inlet tube into this cutout. So uh, let's start with uh, plugging it in and then I'm going to place the wire back on the retainer and then the tube is inside the cutout and lift the ice maker and push it back and uh, now I'm going to install these two Phillips screws. We're going to secure the ice maker. Now we're going to install the cover. That two pins goes into these holes. Slide it up and push it in. Now we're going to install the shaft. First goes this right side. We're going to put it in and push it in all the way. Then we're going to install the left side. Also all the way in. And now I'm going to put that shaft cap in, so it would uh, restrict the movement of the shaft. And now I'm going to pull out the rails. And now I'm going to install the freezer door back on. I'm going to hang it onto these rails. I'm slowly going to place it in. The two hooks on the top locks into the cutouts, and then we're going to lock these sides. All right, and now I'm gonna secure it with the 10 millimeter bolts. And now we're gonna install the freezer basket in. Slide this forward, and we're gonna lower down. This end goes in, and I place it down, and it's in. Now we're going to install the adjustable shelf. Both end brackets goes in. And I'm going to press it down. All right, so we can install the drawer in. That's a little tricky, but if you do it the way it's supposed to be done, there will be no problem. So first we're going to slowly place these two sides on the top under the uh, triangular tabs into the rail and then we're going to let the drawer down and push it in. So 
so it will uh, locks down at the at the bottom the the rollers will go underneath of the rail here and now we can close the freezer door and now we can close the doors plug the fridge in open the water and check if there are any leaks thank you for being a part of another successful repair brought to you by appliancepartspros.com for any of your future appliance repair projects please check out our other videos available on our site on facebook on youtube and on instagram